Coral Bleaching and Ocean Acidification by Patrick Henry Long. Let's get right into the video. Coral bleaching turns beautiful reefs like this into wastelands like this. First, let's talk about how corals grow. Corals have a symbiotic relationship with plankton, in which the plankton gets a place to live in the coral, and the coral gets some of the energy that the plankton makes while it photosynthesizes. The coral uses this energy to grow and repopulate. Coral bleaching occurs when ocean temperatures rise too high. This causes the coral to spit out their plankton they have stored in them. Scientists still do not know why they do this, but they do know that the coral usually dies a couple weeks after spitting out the plankton. The plankton are what give the corals their bright colors, and without plankton, the coral turns into white, which is why they call it coral bleaching. This video shows how devastating coral bleaching can be to coral reefs. Ocean acidification is caused by carbon dioxide that is being released into the atmosphere. When the carbon dioxide is absorbed into water, it goes through a chemical reaction with the H2O. This splits positively charged hydrogen ions, which cause less biocarbonate. Biocarbonate is a key ingredient to calcium in which the coral uses to make their skeletons. Also, calcium is a key ingredient in the growth of shells of shellfish in the ocean and shellfish are an important part of keeping the ocean clean from deadly toxins. An easy way to think about ocean acidification is a soda stream. Soda streams are those little machines that turn your normal water into seltzer water. They do it by spraying carbon dioxide into your drink to make it bubbly, and that makes it a little bit more acidic. Now we're doing that to the ocean on a giant scale and the ocean cannot afford to be a little bit more acidic because if it does, all the corals and shellfish will die. Coral bleaching and ocean acidification is killing reefs all over the world and the entire ocean will be unstable if coral reefs do not exist because they're the nurseries for many ocean species and also the homes of most of the species in the ocean. One way you can prevent coral bleaching and ocean acidification is to watch your carbon footprint. This means not to use cars, lights, stoves, etc. when you don't have to. It's the little things that matter, such as riding a bike instead of driving, or turning off the lights when you leave the room. You can even try to take your own step and try to invent stuff that lessens carbon dioxide emissions. The health of the ocean is very important to the overall health of the earth and the health of the human race. Many businesses, infrastructures, cultures, diets are based around the ocean. And if the ocean life fails, then those infrastructures and businesses and cultures and diets will also fall. And so little is known about the ocean. Scientists know more about the moon than they do the ocean. Scientists also predict that there are over 8 million different species of organisms in coral reefs that they have not discovered yet. And we are destroying the ocean before we can even discover it. Saving the oceans. We are not at a point where we cannot return yet. But that will happen if we keep on going in the same course that we are now. We can still turn around the effects of coral bleaching and ocean acidification if we stepped up and limit the amount of carbon dioxide being admitted into the atmosphere. This 15-year-old Polish girl named Greta Thunberg stood up against the entire United Nations and pleaded for them to put harsher restrictions on the amount of CO2 gas they release into the atmosphere. Her strong words encouraged many nations to put harsher restrictions on the CO2 they release into the atmosphere. This shows that no matter what your age is or how young you are, you can make a difference and reverse the effects of climate change. Hopefully you were able to take away some information from my movie and see how much of a struggle our oceans are in to survive. Thank you for watching my movie. Goodbye.